I could not believe. You know in Kenya wakati mwingine kuna watu wanasema mambo ambayo sio kweli kabisa. I was all doubting this guy true to what he said. So I had to come to his comfort, camp and I requested him to allow me to be a self proclaimed ambassador. I am working with him, we are working with him as a university and we are happy because even by talking about him you be aware that whatever model you be starting you are not the only one. We have to start moving. We have the journey has started. Where are you? Where am I myself? What are we doing? And as we are saying, remember together everyone achieves more. That is the word team. Together everybody achieves more. We have a lot of entrepreneurial programs that I'm sure you even have in this university and others that we have like the one that I mentioned was mentioned called step and we can compare notes and see how we can empower what are these opportunities that could be there which we are not working on there are people who are doing a lot of things we need to encourage them i was told by one professor that when you start uh, building you see somebody packing some bananas you know packaging some bananas so that you can sell them on the street. You find the health officers, stop them and tell them mnauza chakula abayo si nzuri. So the mission in that professor is going to talk to the authorities the way you know that that food is not good. Don't arrest that person. Don't stop the initiative. Join him to improve on what he's doing because that could be the innovation that will make us be producers of packaged banana. So instead of being a critic, like I saw Dr. Muli and I was saying, it is the guy who is talking about this, and I wanted to know him more. You know, the Thomas in us. And the moment you get to know, you feel, I need to support this person. Let us all go out of our way, because the world is waiting for us. And I re repeat, the world is waiting for us. Finally, because I will skip this, in conclusion, we have books that would refer to you, and this will come from, the, from our management, and some partnerships that we are talking about. There is a conference that I would want to talk about. This conference is taking place in our university in March. And the conference is multidisciplinary. Again, Professor has it, and members of the management have it. How would we ensure that, since it is online, there's an online provision, you can do it from here. But also, we would be very happy to receive a presenter. End of March, towards the end. Because it's only 15 minutes, you make a presentation. And we talk about SDGs, SDGs. That was in multidisciplinary. You can talk about accountancy, you can talk about health, you can talk about everything. Kindly join us at Mount Kenya University. The world. By what I'm saying, keep on good and the world the world gets more. So we can sell support or money to bless the country so that all grow in the powerhouse of the world what I know that everybody is Africa is growing, but we'll go from condition.
experience was in of being a generation. So, what can we say? We might have a good in this chat. So, we might have a good in this chat. So, we might have a good in this chat. So, we might have a good in this chat. เบื้องหน้าก็สนุกไปเลยสิ่งทุลายสุขสุดท้ายเป็นปุ่นเพื่อสนุกดับที่เนี่ยเป็นปุ่นเพื่อสนุกดับที่เนี่ยเป็นป
you think about importing from US or other European countries. So I think if we want to solve this problem of hunger in relation to reducing inequality, then we can think about having the strategic partnership in African countries. Instead of thinking import food from European countries, why can't we think about African countries which they have ample food? You see, so I think if we can emphasize on a strategic partnership among African countries and we deal with the problem of zero hunger, then we can be able to reduce the problem of inequality. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Shagama. Uh, members, before we move forward, I would like to recognize uh, the presence of uh, media. Uh, specifically, we have uh, Ali, Ali Mkibo. Ali Mkibo is the presenter of uh, TBC, IFA, and he's also the chairman of the uh, Media Platform. And he's an expert on economics. Uh, he's an economic uh, analyst in media platforms. Now, that introduction is Ali. The floor is yours if you can contribute. Please, Marshal. Uh, my name is Ali Mkimo, a financial analyst, a business consultant. Uh, I am a senior lunar, as uh, Professor said. Uh, I've been working with the Lanyard Trust for HTC. I do have a very good venture. I would like to talk uh, the, uh, to the water we look at uh, on these uh, SDGs to talk about uh, the sense of poor education. So, uh, for people with this way, how much should they at least reduce the food which are the food? I will really show the uh, TIA and EU to get quality to raise the benefits. I know that Zanyan is a hustler's fund, a hustler's fund, and uh, the Zanyan is a very good benefit for the BBT, being better tomorrow. They have a certain size of fuel, because they use the BBT, they want to perform uh, to do their activities, but they don't have carbon and it means uh, for the technology. I will really, I will really wish for the uh, BBT to uh, I mean, the TAMU, the community is one together, making sure that they stand up with the development of the new goal of laws that have made by government to countries. I will wish for the Hasselas Fund, where the GDP grows, for example, and also here in Germany, we have long time for you, our eyes are for you, we have time for you, since we are in the percentage of the ability. I will wish for these activities to make sure they tend to include the business of the ideas. I will wish for that to be happening. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Ali. And it's my pleasure to see your own EAI. Thank you very much. Well, we proceed now to give it to our guest, Professor Wanderi, if you can respect play to some of the comments which are this. I know it's all of us. Flowers, but I'll uh, give you the question of our body. First, I'll write for the service. Thank you. When I ask for questions, for some schools that I've only lived in one year, that uh, if you want to know what you say, you the number of questions people really ask to you, you say to me, where do I come from? And I said, I'm from a point of view that even Jesus called the best teacher had a lot of people asking questions. So if you don't know the area, you are a white teacher. Actually, you'll be banned from our attention to people. So I was asked that uh, my first privilege in Italy, I had a conference in Admiral Villa, but it was a huge problem. Well, I was banned from the community because of people who really made my name. So I thought you were saying your name. You pronounce it in Arabic. Thank you. He said that was this. You know, he's talking of a lot of inequality in the world. And it's true. He didn't see fish at all, but nothing. But if you remember when we talked about food security and suffering from food, I say they are based on food rights. They are there. People who are banned from suffering from is hating them. Don't come at them. To hurt them. Really, have you asked them about your company that's from Saudi? Said the nation. He said every court that. So, what can be asked? Well, he will come to the point. So, you can speak to other people in Sweden. It's the same thing today that we mentioned that I'm a couple of us who fed up the auction. Everybody, including the two of them, and the two of them, who fed up the auction. Remember the journey of our mouse starts with Ziggo Zed. Have we started? Said, not yet. Just go back to your question. The man that I talked about, Whose case shows me? Who's the family? Do you say for me? Even if you're better, do not want to say. From that man, from God, he says, you can go to a tree. How does he feed them? He has bought land and he has on a large scale basis, then doing more than He put a given the company and not ask us in keeping the free of the children. He put two and a half years in the teacher to take over. Which we need. So people are saying, and the other one, that the poor said that function is something. He bought his hotel and all star hotel feed everyone to the use of their hardware. About it all, he went at court, he went to Nether. <laughs> what I'm saying, you only need to get started. And this takes me back to, 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 to the professor. Professor, when you're looking at what to do, better be broad. And I like Madame's feeling that even the issue of looking at the city ten, since the city also made other areas, food insecurity, everything, even within that, we can look on opportunity only to work. This is, however, I'm saying you don't, you're only from looking at night. We can promote, we can promote technology, we can promote innovation, we can promote peace, we can promote. Uh, life on land or life other, like marine studies and so on, people who are that, they own SD, the relevant SDGs. However, even SDG number 10, all the others feed this trade. When you're promoting the marine studies because of fish and other foods, you are helping SD number one and you're also helping the business persons who are in the area of, 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 of business related to that. So, in this case, let's be broad in the impact area that we do. And, and therefore, there is no one single answer that I would give to your questions or even to other questions that are not being asked as the correct one or incorrect one. All I would want is us to take discussion. And this is why I'm saying, I'm very happy when I see many hands up. I may not be able to satisfy what you want to listen and listen here. 
I might not be able to give you the right answer, but let's all get started. Once you get converted, you become an expert. Read about the SDGs. Lucy, give me this. this. One of the things that Lucy pulled from me when, what is your name, madam? Beatrice. Beatrice. Yeah. When you ask the question, the elaboration of SDG number 10, all of them are elaborated online. And one of the things that, this is exactly what you are saying. Why don't we go by ensuring that the households are empowered? It is here per capita that is available across the country. What is the household expenditure or what is the income per capita that we have available for ourselves? In this case, spend moment, you have listened to me, the next thing, and I, 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 I remind everybody and for the undergraduate student, when you are doing your research, the starting point is reading related literature to guide you in your focus. You have already got your topic of research, but you go and read what others have said about it. Already we have our topic. It's on the SDGs. We want to know it more. Let's go online. Read, read, read. We get empowered to which actions to undertake. I would wish one time that we can be like Charles Muli. Charles Muli, he is an celebrated saint with so much, yet he did not go to school. But he has done, God has used him to feed the world. God has used him to redeem, he talks of three hours, rescue children, rehabilitate them, and reintegrate them to the community. He gives them out. If you, they, you want to adopt the, the child, already as a graduate from Harvard, you adopt him to be your son. Because he says, I have so many children, and they want a figurehead, mother figurehead, father figurehead, adopt by being a friend I wish I could opt you all to MCF. You see, 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 you um, remember, um, one of the points is to the ways in actions. So I will uh, echo the lecture which was uh, given to us, the Prof. Henry, but the teacher putting words into actions. So um, I saw Professor, we are already done a good few questions. Yes, sir, you're happy with it. Okay, so we'll ask some questions, but uh, our intention is to receive more comments. We need to respond. Yeah, the questions are so hard. Okay, now, how to the numbers? It will be number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, number six, number seven, number eight, now, number nine. Now, based on the numbers, I will restrict your time. Please use this more successful. Okay, budget is. Okay, uh, intro. Okay, so question. Our intention, our presenter. Okay, uh, uh, I'm happy and very uh, impressed by your presentation that you have organized. Uh, to our audience today. Uh, I have one uh, question, uh, which I would like to give you a question. Now, if you have my problem, one is of SDGs, uh, and we need to get started. Uh, if we have any good experience in the positive outcome that we've already achieved, I think you uh, regarding the, the SDG number 10. Thank you. Much, uh, Dr. Mzuri Pao, please, number two. Thank you, Professor. My name is Anton, and all the protocols are observed. Uh, for purpose of class, I'll just instruct what I'm going to be faster. Number one is the question of the nexus on the appointment of uh, Mount Kenya University as a hub for the SDG number 10. You may recall in your question, Professor, you, 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 you posed up to our three questions to the presenter. How did they achieve it? Mine, then again, I'm just repeating. I know that you may, you may think that we are trying to steal your, your secrets, but I'll ask one more humility. You may tell us what are the things and grace, the bottom nuts for an institution like us aspiring to become a hub. You, you say in your presentation that uh, the battle of will be a step of Sydney. You may imagine to Sydney. To, I, to an university in Zika. We know how city is and tell us now Zika is in the swamp mountain. You guys got something? Tell us in the spirit of pan Africanism, in the spirit of partnership, in the spirit of share. Secondly, is the question of what you have achieved so far. You have been talking about uh, raising awareness. If you go back to the targets and the SDG has caused four targets. So how are you achieved? And you may wish to read that your time was happening out. You are only one year for and I need to show you. So how far have you achieved it in terms of those targets? And thirdly, it is on uh, the, the question of uh, sustainability. When you step down as a hub, so how far have you positioned yourself to ensure that what you have been doing actually will be taken care and continued by the next person to the next institution, which will be your successor? It's all about talking about sustainability. See that you'll be doing a good job. Yes. So, how far have you positioned yourself to ensure that what you'll be doing will be uh, taken care by a person who will be the next hub? 
Thank you very much. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, well, there is a request from a professor. Um, please, the floor is yours, if you can respond very quickly. Yes, very quickly, because I am diluting them when they get to fight. Because some of them tended to overlap. And in responding to you, as maybe I could even preempt another one. First of all, because even what you've asked, somebody had asked, how did we get there? If I could answer. This is a very good question because it goes even to the management. And you are in discussion with the principal, with the professor here, that at the CEO of the university, anybody among the members of staff can go to the online provision. There is a form. You start by answering a form that is online, and I in the link, last link on one of the pages, and it's in it, where you fill a form to request to be a member of United Nations Academic Impact. Every year, you profile your activities in terms of teaching, research, and community outreach, and send that information. As a member, a certified member, you get a certificate of UNAI. And even today, there's a link, you see, you see the universities, even in Tanzania, and in Kenya, in the world, every country, all of them that are members. So one of the benefits is that you'll be seen. That's an international visibility. You'll be seen that you're a member of that. Then every year, you provide yourself, you write a report. Tell them what you've been doing on the SDGs. Not necessarily specifically that you did it for SDGs, but in the course of work, we are able to achieve the following for SDGs. One, SDGs, two, SDGs, three. Basically, the best things that you do, profile them among the 17 SDGs. Give that report early as required. When time comes and you want to fill the position of a hub, they check on the profile they receive. And this is now question number two. That's how we got it. We didn't apply to be a hub. Nobody applies to be a hub. You apply to be a member of United Nations Academic Impact. And there's, I think, of a, I don't remember the number, but even in Tanzania, you find about eight. In Kenya, you find about eight. Out of about, in Kenya, we are 90 universities, but there are only eight who have applied. Not that they don't, but this information maybe has not been provided to the universities. I would hope that maybe because we are now in this discussion, while it has, the application can go through, can start from you through the CEO to them, and they give you the certificate, the CEO will not achieve the prominence of that without your activities. Do all that pertains to that, and then let the person who is in charge to be giving those reports annually. It is from the report that they check around from their dashboard and approach the CEO. You seem to be doing well on SDG number 10, and there is a chance for you to serve as a hub if you want to. They are the ones that will, cheat you, will approach you. So even by taking, receiving the, 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 when I talk of receiving the button, Maybe that's not a very good analogy because you are working as a team. The analogy in the race, you are all to do each other. We, we did not know we'd get that. But when we get it, we acknowledge that they've been doing some work. Certainly, we are not starting from zero because we start from where we start. So this is the way what I meant by this in the, 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 the battle. And we were appointed. You don't apply for that. You apply to be a member. You profile yourself every year. But we see you when there is a a hub to be created, they approach you and you accept it or you don't accept it. Finally, sustainability and what have we achieved? Our greatest achievement, one of our greatest achievements is being here today. <laughs> Thank you, Professor. And I will not mention another one, but sustainability. We are saying we are here today because we want to be members of a network. That is a sustainability. That even 20 years to come, I hope when I'll be 90 years, I'm 60 now, so I'll be eight years. When I come, I'll buy the trace of the seed we are planting today. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, it's my hope, uh, out of the nine hands I saw earlier, uh, none of them is preempted. If none, then I'm going to number three now, uh, which is Dr. Maiga. Are you preempted? Actually, thank you, Prof, because the question is which I want to point to the professor. Most of them were asked by Dr. Do you have an additional? No, I don't have any additional. Thank you very much. Should you now go to number four, please? I hope you are not preempted, uh, madam.
Thank you. My name is uh, Christina Mlene. I have only two issues. Uh, the first one I was so challenged because the SDG is on 2023. And now you are spreading out about the awareness and we have seven years to land on 2023. So I think there's something we need to do more because we have only, we are on late stages. And um, the other thing on your paper, I saw it's on your focus about Russia and Ukraine a war, as well as the COVID-19 pandemic, how raised the inequality. But apart from Russia and um, Ukraine, which started early, but in Africa, we have more than that. We have Congo, and we have a lot of issues which is raising inequality daily to daily. Um, but the second one, it was about, um, you were, what, on your slide number 14, you were talking about um, this $100 seed money, which you are giving to your student to promote for the entrepreneurial. And I was looking forward if how can the Mount Kenya University can collaborate with her if you're on the same agenda of equality and how can a student, especially the disabled one, to be benefit on this 100 seed down. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you very much. Professor, if we can add another two uh, comments, I hope you will be comfortable to uh, respond. Should we, should we now go for the, uh, the next? Who is next? Yes, Dr. Senga, please. I would like to thank uh, Professor Mbele for his good presentation. Uh, I think implementation of uh, SDG goals uh, depend on, to a larger extent, on uh, good governance. So my question is, what are governance challenges which you are facing in implementing SDG 10? Thank you. Are you done? Oh, thank you very much. Uh, so I just want to remind you that um, our session is being transmitted live in the YouTube and Zoom. And luckily, we have some uh, colleagues who are following us through Zoom and YouTube. So I will invite uh, the DC Matonya to read the questions from those who are following us through Zoom. Please, Matonya. Okay. Uh from the online followers, we have a question in a staff group, they put it on the staff group. It reads, uh, please pass it to the presenter. Among the 17 uh, SDGs, inequality is the impact and not the cause. Why must Kenya capitalize on the inequality instead of the cause, in right, the cause he or she has called it education? Thank okay. you. Thank you very much. Um, so, uh, members who are from us online, you are invited to send your comments and we will be reading them. Now I'm inviting uh, the next uh, fellow to comment uh, before we invite our presenter to do the response. Uh, who is next, please? Among the hands. Yes, please, Dr. Mita. You read last. And then, Professor, I will invite you to do the response of the comments from the commentators, please. Okay, thank you very much, Professor Paranju. 